Hey everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fatal Frame. Now, this is your host, Callum Hale, playing the spooky games and getting scared so you don't have to. So, why don't everybody just sit back, relax, and uh, you know, set the moon, turn off the lights, throw in your headphones. Ooh. And let's explore the more mansion together. Make sure you also grab yourself some snacks, something to drink. You're going to be well hydrated while uh, I get the living piss scared out of myself. Right, a mask shows in the photo. It looks like the mask that used to hang here. Hmm. I put the photo in my file. Alright, so we got to find the mask. And, uh... Somebody was kind enough to let me know I missed something. Uh, they actually... was an old friend of mine who... I uh, watched an episode and uh, said to me, like, hey, Callan, you know that creepy room? I'm like, yeah, but they uh, play this a lot. Like, you got to go back. He's like, oh, great. So I'm going to go back to the creepy doll room because apparently I have to go back there because I missed something. And if you guys have any you know, hints, tips, tricks, if you notice I missed something, I'll let you know down in the comments below. You can always also hit me up on Twitter. My DMs are always open. So how's everybody doing today? Uh, and myself, my allergies are going nuts. Like so, currently, uh, if you're watching this in the future, it's 2021, and uh, there is... Mm -hmm. Currently, a, a lot of wildfires going on. Ooh, I missed that before. Something shows in the photo. Alright, well, we're gonna investigate that here real quick, folks. Put the photo in my file. Go to file. Oop, nope, I need to go to photos. Boy pulled into the clock. Oh. Okay, and furious looking mask. Alright, so apparently. Well, he gets pulled into a clock, and you know? that's just kind of creepy. I guess it must have been one of the kids uh, from, I believe, the uh, folklorist. There's a piece of paper with writing on it in front of the clock. The child's writing. Isn't Makoto ever going to come find me? We're playing a demon tag, and she's supposed to be the demon. Did she quit, maybe? Hey, I wonder if Makoto likes me. If she ever comes and finds me, maybe I'll just ask her. All right, I put the written note written by a child into my file. All right, uh, kind of interesting. All right, these steps are complete now. Wait, before I go up there, I want to check over here. So each night, you could... Books are falling apart. I can't even read the covers. You can occasionally find good stuff. Uh, books are not very real interest. There aren't any books of real interest here. Okay. I hear creepy kid talking. Oh, I'm just going to check up here before I go back down. Uh, anything of use in the chest of drawers. I found a piece of an old diary in the drawer of the chest. Old diary scrap. June 13th, Makoto found an old, odd camera. She says she found it in the mansion when she was playing Demon Tag. I tried asking her exactly where in the mansion, but she just keeps saying a girl in a white kimono gave it to her. I can't find out any more about it. June 14th, I had a look at the camera Makoto found yesterday, but I didn't see anything special about it. It was probably left here some time ago by somebody that came to investigate the mansion. June 15th. The weather was wonderful today, and Ye seems to be feeling better. The three of us decided to take a walk in the mountains. Ye hadn't been out in a long time, and she really seemed to enjoy it. She had fun with Makoto's camera, taking pictures with it all day long. Put the piece of a diary in my file. So yeah, uh, I mentioned this in a few videos, but I'm gonna, we're going to be doing a few changes to the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more recording. I'm going to do a Fatal Frame Monday through Saturday. Uh, getting back to my shout-outs. Uh, last week I was a bit under the weather. 
Yeah, hate that creeping feeling. I'm feeling much better this week, so I'm going to be doing uh, five episodes a day is when I'm going to record a Fatal Frame. And I'm also going to be doing uh, my tabletop review and some indie game reviews. Giving shout out to some indie creators. And also, I'm going to try getting some friends together to play some horror tabletop RPGs if possible. And uh, one of the things that will be changing is I'm going to try doing uh, shout outs in the beginning of some of these episodes. Uh, that will not obviously be this week. That's going to be changing in the next week because I have uh, written out some scripts for those. <laughs> A row of red dolls covered their eyes with their hands. Hmm. Maybe she got, maybe uh, my friend got confused. Uh, she may have got confused on what day I was on. There are four dolls on the stand with a drawer. The drawer seems to be locked. Okay. Oh, herbal medicine. That's good. Row of four dolls with hands, eyes cut. Okay. Yeah, I think they were confused on what day I was on. Do I need any? Uh, yeah, I should probably take that herbal medicine now. Because I don't have any more of the uh, mirrors that keep me out, that bring me back to life. Or she was just trolling me and wanted me to get even more scared. Which, between my friends and I, that's kind of a normal thing with us. But uh, one thing I did want to say is, uh, another thing I'll be doing is, uh, Friday, I'll be doing um, spooky movie reviews of remakes. So if there's like movies that have an original and a remake, I'm going to compare the originals to the remakes to see which ones have, you know, which one I, I feel is better. Now, ooh, there's a roll of film in the closet. Ooh, type 74. That's the super strong film. And I'll, let me check if I can. Okay, 2,000 or 20,000. And what do I need for, oops, nope, I need basic. I need 4,000 more. <laughs> anyway, what I feel is better like between remake and original, uh, this Friday will actually be the original Candyman with uh, Tony Todd and uh, the remake, which I have not seen yet as of this recording. But before the video goes live, I'll have seen it. I'll do a comparison side by side what I felt was better about which one, just to kind of give a... Uh, you know, my opinions on it, because I'm, I'm a huge horror fan. Whoa. Um, I don't like that. Okay, there's a shiny here. Box film on the floor, type 37. Okay, that's good. I pushed the door, but wouldn't open. That's you locked from the other side. I don't know if that wind was because I hit one of them. The door just won't open. Okay. So, looks like we have to go upstairs to be on guard. Yeah, uh, just let me know what you guys are thinking of the Fatal Frame. Because I'm going to be playing all the games. And when uh, Blackwater comes out, I'll actually be live streaming. Whoa. All right. Taking zero chances. Creepy ball falling, flying down the stairs. No, no, waste. Where is it? What's on this door? Okay, that's the rope hallway. <sighs> uh, 
I'm not. I'm saving that Type 74 film for a few of the boss fights coming up. I don't know if there's going to be a, a fight in the rope hallway or not. Not a lot of room to run in the rope hallway. Vengeance? We saw vengeance in the wall earlier. Alright, I'm going to run back and save. There's an interesting little Easter egg I heard about uh, in the New Game Plus of this. Oof, there's a miasma there. You're trying to walk in here. Uh, in the New Game Plus, yes, we're going to reload our type of key. There's, I hear there's actually supposed to be, like, the further along you go, the more ropes that appear in the hallway. I'm going to actually be doing a new game plus on a live stream. Uh, probably will not be my 50 follower ask me anything live stream. That'll probably be like some fun, kooky, retro horror. Or I'll do a more hardcore retro Ooh. This door is no longer boarded. I know where it wants me to go. But I got to explore. It's just, it's in my nature as a TTRPG enthusiast. Okay, they're fast. I need to hit them as soon as I can get a lock on them. Where are they? Where are they? One moment, folks. I'm going to have to pause the recording here.
Sorry about that, folks. I will probably be editing out that portion. I had to take a uh, important phone call. So let's get back to it and hope I don't die. Well, my sound bits went wonky on me. Okay, let's see if I can get them in my viewfinder. Oh, come on, ghosty. Let me get you my viewfinder. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Thankfully I saved. I, I probably won't edit that out because I told you, I'm human. Things happen. I had to take that call and so I, I took it. It was an important call, so I didn't want them to think I was ignoring them. And because of my wonky setup here, I gotta return to the title screen, load the game, <laughs> slot one. Okay, we were at entrance 435. <sighs> now, this time around, when I fight that ghost, I'm not gonna wait and let things power up. I'm just gonna go for it. This will be a little bit longer of an episode, because I, I want to fight that ghost. And I'll do my shout-outs. So I want to wrap you guys with, like, the uh, full... Wait, there are countless eerie handprints here. Red handprints. Is that blood? I want to wrap you guys with the full experience of a 20-minute video, because I had to take a phone call. All right, we're about to hit that cutscene again. Okay, here we go, folks. Here we go. No waiting around this time. As soon as they're my viewfinder. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Like, I don't see them anywhere. No, oh no. That's right, Callum. Back yourself into a corner. Come on, come on, come on. There! No, 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 no. I'm gonna run. If I can. Oh, I can't. Can I? Can I get away quick enough? I'm wondering if this is a boss fight. It's how fast they are. Okay, uh, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? You know what, folks? I'm actually going to wrap this episode here. I'm going to do my uh, shout outs. And if you're watching, this is the Tuesday episode if you're watching this. And I do apologize that I had to take a call in the middle of it. I was going to edit it out, but I want you guys to know I'm a human. Things happen. I, I want to be a professional streamer one day, but also I want everybody to know I'm, I'm a person. I have, I have stuff come up sometimes. So let me get to my hype squad here. Uh, today's hype is a few TTRPG folks who I've had the pleasure of meeting on Twitter. They are amazing. Uh, the TPK underscore PA underscore podcast. Their link is in the description below. They have a great podcast. They're really creative folks. They're really awesome. You should definitely give them a follow. 
Their podcast is actually one of those I listen to when I get a bit of creative juices flowing. Uh, I myself have, be, have been creating a few accessible accessibility tools for uh, D&D tabletop RPG, some accessibility accessories. And the other person is one of the kindest people I've ever met in the Twitter TTRPG sphere. Uh, at Penguin underscore uncle. They are an amazing human person and they are just awesome. So uh, please give them a follow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I'm uh, going to try mitigating any more uh, snafus in the future. But if, uh, you know, as always, this has been Callan Hale playing the spooky games and getting scared so you don't have to. We're going to start our next session fighting that ghosty again. Remember, folks, hydrate, take meds if you got to, and eat some good food. Be kind to yourself. The world is crazy, but you know, if you're kind to yourself, we're kind to each other, we can make it a better place. Thanks for watching. Love y'all.